Hey everybody, welcome back to another Permaslug episode. My name is Jonathan, and today what I wanted to do is show you this tool called Nimbify for Oxygen. What this particular tool does is allow you to clone pretty much any site into Oxygen without having to build the elements manually. And there are some caveats to this tool. It's not totally perfect, but it works surprisingly well for a lot of cases. What I wanted to do was go over a couple of things, the pricing and kind of how this works for Nimbify, which I think is gonna change. But at this particular time, the pricing is based off of kilobytes of data transferred. And you might think that's gonna get expensive really quickly, but in actuality, it doesn't really use hardly anything as compared to what you might think because of the fact that it doesn't actually pull in the images to your site. It just uses the URL uh, of that image from the, the site that you're pulling from. So it uses a surprisingly low amount of your kilobyte allotment whenever you transfer something over and I'll show you what that looks like. I also have three sites here. One of them is Divi. This one is WP Bakery and this one is just some other site I found. I think it's HTML5. But I'm going to show you how we can pull elements off of each of these pages into our blank oxygen install here using Nimbify and not have to recreate the elements ourselves. Like I said, this tool is not perfect, but it will definitely help you, especially for things that are kind of in that middle ground of like not too complex, but you know, not too simple. It's a total time saver, especially if your end goal is simply to just get the site into oxygen. This could help save you a tremendous amount of time. So basically the way that this works is you install the Nimbify tool, the plugin itself, and the only thing you have to do is log into your account, which I've already done. There's no configuration to do on the back end, but once you open Oxygen, you'll notice there's this new button here called Nimbify. So you go ahead and click on that and you're presented with this screen here. So this target URL is the site that you wanna pull content from. You basically just paste that URL in there. That's pretty self-explanatory. And then you need to go find the CSS selector that you want to pull in. Now there's a bit of a balance here because you don't want to pull in something that's too big, like the entire wrapper for a whole page, for instance, because sometimes the tool can fail. So you kind of want to do it in sections and sort of break things up, especially because then your oxygen structure pane is a bit more clean. So I'll show you kind of how to do that. Let's go ahead and start with this site here, which again, like I said, is Divi. So in Chrome, what you'll do is basically just go to inspect. And then you can see that it kind of highlights the element that we're looking at at the moment, but I want to find the selector for this particular div here, this basically this top section, the hero image with these buttons. And we'll get this nice, um, whatever you call this swoopy effect. I don't think it has the animation to it, but it definitely will bring in the swoops for us. So just kind of find the selector that sort of wraps everything here. Is that it or is that more than we want? This is the div here. So unless that's it, let's see. That one does the entire site. So you can kind of see um, it goes down further than we're actually looking to. So just go ahead and select this div here. I need to just copy this element right there. And then what I'm gonna do is go back to oxygen, paste in the selector. And of course I actually need to copy the URL of the site too. We'll go ahead and click on insert and you'll see how little data it uses. So I bought the 30,000 kilobyte package. So go ahead and click insert. And there you go. So for this whole section, I only used 20 kilobytes of my allotment. So I've done tons of copies just to kind of test this tool out. And like I said, I started off with 30,000 and I still have you know 28,300 left as you can see. So this whole section here only used 20 kilobytes. So you could be pretty sparing with what you actually purchase, but see, it works perfectly. So now I have this div here. I have all of these elements, these buttons and these designs, this image background for my div, as well as the swoopy effect there. Again, like I said, it kind of lost the animation effect, but to be perfectly honest, that would be something that I don't really care about because of how little time it just took me to get this whole design into oxygen. Now, one thing to note here is that you can see there's tons and tons of divs in this right-hand column here. This actually isn't as bad as I've seen it in other cases. Uh, but because of the way that Divi and some of these other page builders use a ton of divs to structure their content, you're gonna find that your structure pane is more messy than it would be if you designed the site yourself, but that would be pretty easy to clean up. Um, so that would just kind of be a personal preference thing. I think I would probably leave this as is if the idea was just to get the site into oxygen. If you wanted to take the time to clean it up, you certainly could. One thing to note is that most of these elements have classes assigned to them. So there's probably quite a few classes on those elements from the Divi site itself, and all of those are carried over. The other really cool thing is that any styling that can be copied over into the Oxygen Editor here is. So it's gonna change all of the background elements for you. You know, pretty much any styling that has an option here, Nimbify is able to copy over and put in the correct place for you, which is really, really awesome. 
If the tool can't do it, then it basically just puts it in a code block or a custom CSS for that particular element. But again, I wouldn't really use this to redesign a site in Oxygen. I would use this to get a site over to Oxygen, perhaps if you need the performance benefits or something like that, or you just maybe are only charging a client a little bit and you just wanna get their site into a format that you can edit much more easily than something, say, like Divi. So there is a Divi site that we cloned over. So let's go ahead and just select our body element here. We're gonna add another Nimbify container here and let's move to this WP Bakery one. So I'm gonna just clear out that URL and let's find a section here. This slider thing works perfectly fine except you lose kind of the slider functionality, but it does copy over perfectly. I tested that one earlier. So let's do this one here. I'm gonna do this whole section. So let's find the selector for this. Is it Mo VC overlay? Is that the section we want here? Yep, so it looks like that's the one. So I'm just gonna take this. And actually, no, it's this one here. So we need to take this selector and then we're gonna pop in that right there. Click on insert. So this import worked. As you can see, this one used 80 kilobytes and I have to imagine it's because the structure is just different, but 80 kilobytes out of you know 28,000 is not very much at all. You'd kind of have to do the math to see how much that actually costed you. But um, basically with this now, this is where the divception kind of kicks in. So if we open this up, there's just so many divs, it's crazy. You really don't need all of these. So you could realistically probably just take this div and bring it like all the way up to here. Looks completely, you know, totally fine. And you could eliminate a lot of those other divs. So that, as you can see, it does work perfectly for the most part. If I go back over here and show you, we have an animation here that is kind of this cool border and like lift effect with that read more button. And we unfortunately don't have that, but pretty much the premise is there. I mean, you have the whole kind of structure to it, and then you could work to build that hover animation in Oxygen. It kind of does the heavy lifting for you in terms of actually setting up the design. But again, you can see there's how many divs is that? I don't know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. You, you could probably achieve this with like two or three divs in Oxygen, but still the point remains that this does work perfectly. So let's do one final example. We're gonna go ahead and take in, let's just do this hero section right here. So again, copy this URL. We'll go back to our Nimbify install here, paste in the URL, and let's find the query selector for this particular section. So what is this? Um, sometimes you just kind of have to play with this a little bit. So that says class kit. I'm not quite sure if this is the one we're after, but this is probably gonna work. And that's kind of the thing with this is there's just a bit of trial and error to it. I actually don't know if this is correct. Oh, well, that, that did work. And it only used 13 kilobytes and we have this whole design in there. So this image, you have this heading, all of this content is editable too. I didn't point that out. All of this stuff is editable in Oxygen. So if I wanted to delete this phrase, I just do that and there you go. It's all editable perfectly inside of Oxygen. So in this particular case, in this left-hand column, how does this image work? Is this set up as a whole background? Let's see, that didn't change anything. I wonder where that image is actually pulling from. So you'd have to kind of play with this a little bit to see exactly how this stuff is set up, but the point remains that all of this is working pretty much exactly as intended. It copies your site into Oxygen really easily. I'm gonna go ahead and save, and let's take a look at this stuff on the front end, these three sections that we just copied over. So there is the, um, what was this one? WP Bakery, I believe. Got this button, got these sections. This is the Divi site. And then there is that other third example that we copied over. So really my point with this video is just, just to show you how you can use this tool to save yourself a lot of time and headache. It's not perfect, so definitely don't go trying to create super complex layouts or like something incredibly custom. Um, I found that there was a Joomla site that a client of mine had and I tested that and that copy didn't quite work as well as I hoped that it would, but in that particular case, that site was such a mess anyway that it's not the tool's fault. It's just, you know, it's a poorly coded site is not gonna clone over well. Hopefully this has been helpful for you. I hope you enjoyed looking at this tool. If you have any other questions about this, definitely let me know and I'll be more than happy to answer those for you. Thank you so much and I'll see you in a future video.